I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Significant mold testing and major improvements to HVAC systems, that's what an independent consultant is recommending be done before Flagler County Sheriff's Office employees re-enter their operations center. They moved out more than two months ago after it was dubbed a sick building. More than 30 employees filed workers' comp claims. The recommendations by Flagler Beach environmental scientist Dr. Robert Sweeney were sent in an email from Staley to county commissioners. The report is scheduled to be discussed at a workshop on August 30th. Federal inspectors with the CDC are also coming to town Labor Day weekend to speak with employees. Their final report could take up to a year. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Brand new technology aims to help the Flagler County Sheriff's Office fight crime. Tony Magoo has more. An arrest was made the first day the Flagler County Sheriff's Office got their hands on Rapid ID technology. Rapid ID mobile devices scan a person's fingerprint and transmits it directly to the state automated fingerprint ID system. And then the results are returned immediately to the deputy in the field, including any criminal history the person may have. This Tuesday, an arrest was made with the help of this new technology when a private repo agent observed a white male and female flee the Home Depot with a drill set. He notified the sheriff's office what he saw, and then Flagler County Sheriff's deputies Rossi and Ocampo conducted a traffic stop on the suspect's car based on the information provided by the Good Samaritan. The driver, identified through Rapid ID as Amanda Butler, was arrested for grand theft, providing a false name while detained and driving while license suspended and booked into the Green Roof Inn under $6,500 bond. John Butler, who was on probation and supposed to be on house arrest, was arrested for grand theft and felony violation of probation and booked into the jail with no bond. People give false names to our deputies often trying to avoid arrest for a crime or an act of warrant, said Sheriff Staley. Not this time. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. A new industrial building could be coming to the Flagler County Airport Complex. John Arking has a preview. In an effort to attract companies and create local jobs, Flagler County is seeking state grant money to add a 100,000 square foot industrial building near the county airport. The proposed $10.4 million facility would serve as an anchor tenant at the airport industrial park, according to Economic Development Executive Director Helga Van Eckert. One of the issues in Flagler County is that we do not have the large-scale industrial facilities for some of the prospects that we have an opportunity to come face-to-face with, so we don't have a lot to offer. The facility would be built primarily with state dollars and located on land leased from the airport. The hope is to entice a company to locate there and then create an apprenticeship program in partnership with the county. The county has applied for a Florida Jobs Growth Grant and for an Economic Development Authority grant for the project that could cover up to 80% of the cost. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. One of the oldest houses still standing in Bedell could end up on the National Register of Historic Places. The Florida National Register Review Board has unanimously voted to accept the Holden House for consideration to be added to the register. Members of the board say they're impressed with the house's architectural significance and preservation. The Holden House, located at 204 East Moody Boulevard and built in 1918 at the end of World War I, serves as home to the Flagler County Historical Society. It was built one year after Flagler officially became a county. Next up, the Holden House nomination goes to the National Park Service for consideration. And now, you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.